Hi everyone, welcome to Be Divine Vintage, welcome to my channel, it's Sharon here and I've been going a little bit fairy mad, miniature mad because I'm making like little fairy apothecaries you know from uh, things like this and making little fairy houses in um, side symbols and all sorts of bits and pieces like that because i'm doing a fairy festival i'm just going to sit down now let's just zoom in a little bit doing a fairy festival in uh langollen later this year so i'm getting everything ready so i mean look at this little tiny sewing machine how lovely is that you see that anyway so this morning uh, happy Easter everybody, went to church and then went to the car boot sale that was on not too far from church and I got some lovely things for the fairy festival and tiny, tiny and tinier things. So I got this lovely um, doily, I put that on there, I put that on there then put the bits on top of it you should be able to see that won't you so i got this is looks like a clock it says rings and things and you can put your bits and pieces in the back there so i'm going to do something fairy with that i got the world's probably tiniest tea set can you see can you see the tiny 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 jug <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> tiny jug. Tiny cup. And saucer. Isn't that be amazing? Another tiny cup and saucer. Then there is the tiny teapot. But sadly, the handle's missing. So it's a teapot <coughs> with the lid there. But aren't they pretty? So pretty, and they will look great in my fairy <coughs> things that I'm making. So there's these these tiny saucers. No, it's not a saucer that it's a, it's a cup. So I'm just gonna pop them in there and I don't lose them. So these cups have saucers too. <coughs> Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely stunning. There's another cup and saucer aren't they pretty i don't i don't know if that sauce goes with that cup actually but i have got the right sauce for the cups might be that one that's it that's the cup and saucer there so there's those they're beautiful i'm going i'm miniature mad at the moment <clears throat> i mean i'm lo i love journaling love it I'm just having a break doing all this fairy thing. Um, I think that's got a lid. Yep. Nope, that's not the lid for that one. There's a little clock. Uh, oh, chaise long. A little chaise long. And another little pot, sugar pot with a lid. These are amazing finds, I think. That's a little pot with a lid. That one's got a lid. Where are the other? It's in there somewhere. A milk jug. Aren't they stunning? Absolutely. I'm absolutely thrilled with them. Then there's this little basket. A thimble. So I'm going to do a um, fairy garden in that thimble. <coughs> here are all the teapot. Teapot lids are all here. I've got them all. I'm not going to start sorting them out now because you know what a teapot lid looks like. We've got a little pram made in England. That'd be nice. Oh, this is the the tiny tiny tea set that I showed you. This is a little tray it all goes on. So I had a little teapot and the little cups and saucers. Isn't it pretty? I love the colours of that. So that's that. Um, more sugar bowl, more little saucers. So 
they aren't full full sets but there's enough in each little set just to keep me happy let's put these back in here they were absolutely when i bought them absolutely filthy my daughter said oh you're not having them mum are you I said they will come up amazing with a bit of <clears throat> soup so i'll put them in the sink and wash them soapy water there's some more here so look at this tray this tray is for this set look at that coffee mug coffee pot and sugar bowl and tea oh that's where those saucers were from from these little teacups those um <clears throat> that belongs to the other set another cup and a little milk jug how beautiful <coughs> The lady said, oh, they will look nice when you display them. I didn't say that they're going to be turned into forest fairy things. Because I think fairies like pretty things like this, don't you? Definitely. I do love that. That might have to stay on my dressing table or as a trinket, trinket tray. It's got a name on there, just can't make it out. But aren't they lovely? <laughs> So I also got these stick pins. Um, I'm actually going to put these into the moss. These are like china pottery flowers. So they'll go like into the moss surrounding the apothecaries. Beautiful daffodil. And what's that? Do you think a cornflower? It's pretty. I think it is a cornflower. I got a butterfly. It's got a bit missing there, but I can do something with that. She gave me that for free. And I got a bug. So those, which I love, 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 love. I've got four of these bottles for these. <laughs> these type of bottles i've got it it's the wrong way but you know the type that i mean that snaps down and fastens but i thought the lovely shape for like fairy spells so um i'm going to do something with those i've got four of those and i've got one larger one i got a this I love, whoop, I love this is just this is just why is that not standing up I want to stand up now this is just from my craft room like a uh, uh, um, victorian salt uh, sugar shaker a vintage sugar shaker i don't know, lovely i love the aging on the top it's not scratched it's not battered so i use these in my craft room you know for glitter and things i there must be something on there because things don't want to stand up it's lovely doily, pretty, and um, this, I love this tin, <clears throat> thought that's perfect for the fairy festival, <clears throat> I could put a journal in it or something, um, and then and the, the tin was full of pens, I said to him, I don't, I don't want the pens, he said well you take the pens if you want the tin, so I had to take the pens, but the pens will do for work, so I've got this I think I showed you one of these last week. I'm going to put that in my rust, rust uh, maker. I've got these two little fairies, little porcelain fairies. They're pretty in the tin. And then I. Who's that? How did I see? Was it Nick the Booksmith? I don't know. It could have been. It was. Oh no, it was Tracy Fox. I'm sure it was Tracy Fox and she uh, purchases old stamp albums like this and you can just actually peel off the stamps like so just like this they just come off so easy and then you've got stamps put them with your collection but you've also got really nice vintage paper as well so um 
look at those uh, stamps. Just notice them. Come on, Sharon. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? Particularly those that are set sort of diamond way. And the birds. And then at the back, ta -da, I found this. I had a little extra bit. I didn't realise this was here. So it's got some uh, ephemera bits I can use in the back. <coughs> This, this envelope is full of stamps as well. So, you let me have that for one pound. It says five on it, <coughs> but he said, oh, take it for a pound. He said, and while I'm, you're buying that, he said, you can have. So he gave me this box. It's a post office. <coughs> and in it are um, stamps thousands of stamps i think i've got probably more stamps than any crafter on this earth if you want to challenge me on that one comment below and we'll go head to head we can go head to head uh the, these postcards are pretty modern um but they've got some lovely stamps on more stamps so yeah stamps stamps everywhere <clears throat> Bits of ephemera in there, caps at Christmas, map, envelopes, stickers, all sorts. So he said to me, the guy went, because I bought that for one pound, he said you can have that for free. That's because I'm such a nice lady, you see, I was there wishing everybody happy Easter. And now I'm going to say it again to you, happy Easter. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching the bits and pieces that I've bought. Um, I need to show you some of the finished products. Um, or maybe you can show you me preparing a little cabinet and painting it and getting it all ready with fairy bits and bobs. Maybe I could do that. Um, a bit different than the journaling, but it's, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm stepping out onto new adventures and i think it's because of the fairy festival i've got so many ideas in my head i look in my garden and i think oh yeah yeah i could use that I could use that I could use that and i'm out all the time my husband's been cutting some trees trees back and there's some really lovely shaped branches and he's putting them in the skip and as fast as he's putting them in the skip i'm taking them out of the skip so i've got a big stock of lovely shaped branches and things to do some bits and pieces with so thank you for watching um hope you've enjoyed seeing my mini mini magical haul and i'll show you what i do with them so take care and god bless see you soon